All right, thanks for tuning in everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. As always, if you learn something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Anthony Smoke Data. So I just recently passed the Tableau Certified Data Analyst exam. And so I know that there are always people searching for a perspective uh, from other people that have passed the exam. So that's why I decided to make this video. Uh, I do have an accompanying blog post uh, where I give out all the links and I talk a little bit uh, more uh, in depth. And so you can read that on anthonysmoke.com. But first, let's talk about the experience needed to sit this exam. Now, the official product or Tableau recommendation is that you have six months of role experience in Tableau before you sit this exam. I tend to agree with that. If you're using Tableau every day, all day, just kind of hardcore into it, you could pass this in six months. I tend to think a year or two of experience using the tool will better serve you. But you can get away with six months, again, if you're just kind of hardcore using the tool every day. In my opinion, I would suggest taking the Tableau Specialist uh, exam first before sitting this exam. It's a lower cost and it never expires. So it's a good certification to have um, when you're first starting out before sitting this exam. Now, you may be wondering why I decided to get certified. Well, I wanted to get certified because yeah, I work in a, a consulting role and just having the certification uh, helps lend credibility uh, when you roll on to a new project. And then also, there's a personal growth aspect as well, right? We always want to learn something new. We always want to get better. And we want to prove that we know something. So those are the two reasons that I took the exam. And I would assume, um, you know, you would have a similar tendency. You want to learn and you want to grow. Now, the main difference between this Tableau Certified Data Analyst exam, and then the older Desktop Certified Associate exam, is that you need to know about Tableau Server, Tableau Prep, and a little bit about Tableau Online to sit this exam. So again, there are some, some additional domains here. Now, that may seem daunting, but I don't think that should stop you from sitting this exam. If you're really, really well versed in Tableau Desktop, you can compensate for having a, a lack of experience in those other two domains. Now, let's bring up kind of the four domains that Tableau says you need to know in order to pass the exam. So we've got domain one, connect to and transform data, explore and analyze data, create content, and then publish and manage content on Tableau server and Tableau online. So my particular strategy going into the exam, uh, I know domains one, two, and three fairly well. So I said, well, if I can get that 91% out of the first three domains and then do just well enough, you know, study up, brush up on the, uh, the server and the online from an academic approach, I do have some experience on server, but not really in-depth experience. I figured that I could get over the hump. So I didn't let that stop me uh, from, from sitting the exam. So to get started, I would say read these three articles these are from the Tableau Help blog. So you've got comprehensive steps to publish a workbook. Quick start, refresh extracts on a schedule. Create a subscription to a view or workbook. Check out those three articles. That's gonna put you in a, a good place in starting uh, with your studies. Now, I also think that this Tableau prep link will be of use as well. It's called Use Data Roles to Validate Your Data. Check out that link, study that hard as well. There's gonna be some questions around Tableau prep on the exam as we've already established. Now, I found this link to be very useful. Let me go ahead and bring it up here on the screen. This is the Tableau Certified Data Analyst Study Guide at this link, this learningtableau.com link. Now, this is a good link um, back to official Tableau help articles for areas covered on the test. 
get to know this page very well, bookmark it as needed. I use this and kind of read all of those help articles and that helped get me on the right path. Now, there are five videos here on my channel that are going to serve you as well. These are gonna put you in a good place. So let me bring these up. Number one, top 10 functions in Tableau you need to know. Understanding Tableau context filters. Tableau table calculations simplified. Advanced bar chart labeling in Tableau. And use separate legends in Tableau, distinct column coloring. These five videos that I put together, uh, I reviewed these myself. They're my own videos. I looked them back over and that put me in a good uh, place uh, with respect to the test as far as what I needed to know. Another useful link that I'll put down here in the description is going to link out to a free practice test. Okay, so sign up for that test, take it and see where you stack up. So this was a useful resource uh, as well. Now, there are going to be a number of uh, domains here that you need to tackle. And so I'm just gonna list off a number here that you should really focus on based upon my experiences. Obviously, I can't tell you anything on the test, but I can give you areas to focus on. So start with these. Know the index function. Know about parameters. Know the top end filters, context filters, uh, data source filters, dense rank, exporting options, sets, extracts, the date trunk, date part function, map density, percent difference. Know how to interpret a box plot. You're gonna have some questions uh, you know, that deal with box plot. So know how to interpret those. Understand how hierarchies work. Understand the show hide container functionality. Know a little bit about the design for mobile layouts. Know the advantages and disadvantages of blending data. Know how to add totals to charts. Seems simple, but something you're gonna wanna know. Focus on that. Know about the split function um, for, for data manipulation. And then know about row level shading. Now, I know that was a, a long list. Again, that's in the blog article that I wrote on anthonysmoke.com that you can check out. But know those areas, and that's gonna give you a good head start on how to tackle the exam. And then also, uh, if you feel that a one-on-one, -on -one, if I could help you one-on-one, -on -one brush up on something in Tableau, uh, reach out, contact me. Go to anthonysmoke.com. I have a contact page there. Uh, let me know what you're struggling with and perhaps we can uh, get together and figure it out together. So again, just in my perspective, when I took the test, I had about 35 minutes left uh, before I was finished and I just kind of went back and reviewed uh, as many questions as I could within my section. You can't go back to previous sections, but I reviewed as many as I could within the section that I was in. And so there's a hands-on lab portion as well, which I thought was fairly simple. There was one area, there's one question that, uh, you know, really threw me for a loop because I didn't, it wasn't quite clear what to do, but I felt that I knocked that hands-on section out of the park. So. Don't be too afraid of that, that hands-on section. So in conclusion, you know, I think the Tableau Certified Data Analyst uh, exam, if you can get that certification, pass the exam, it's a great way to show the market that you have some basic skills in Tableau. Now, I would say it's always better to have a portfolio on Tableau Public, uh, a blog, YouTube, whatever you need to do to visually show that you know how to do this type of work. But having a certification definitely uh, adds uh, to your case that you know what you're doing. With the right experience, with the right preparation, you can pass this exam and show to everyone that you have what it takes to use Tableau. Thank you for watching the video. Again, go to anthonysmoke.com, read the whole blog post, and I wish you the best of luck on your journey to becoming a Tableau certified data analyst. Thanks for watching.